Did you know Cursor has built-in support for Astro's documentation? In this video, I want to go over how you can interact with the docs from Astro live inside of Cursor. In addition to that, I want to talk about how to add separate docs from services like Supabase or Astro Icon or Terso or anything else you might want to integrate with your Astro project. You ready? Let's go. Hey, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. All right, let's get started. I've got a basic Astro project. We're just going to use the docs built into Cursor for Astro. And I think this is really cool. You can see here I've got this experimental fonts API, so I would expect this not to be something that general LLMs would know about, but Cursor can. So if I come over here, I can just simply call at doc and then search for Astro like this. And this official integration is already here. So now I can just say like uh, add the... Uh, experimental fonts API. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do, and I will let it do its thing. So let's expand this. We'll see it reading the docs, and it may ask, can I search for it? And I'll say yes. And then it will just walk through it, figure out what it should look like. And it should look something like this, right? Where we've got an experimental fonts, then we're importing it and using it somewhere within the document. So let's see how this works. If I pull this out, it looks like something's happening. Yeah, there we go. So let's just vibe code this thing. It looks like it has read properly that it can do this. And if it continues, it should actually add this, I'm guessing in the index route. So yeah, just like that, it looks like it wants to add it in this index route and I can just accept it over here. Obviously for something more complex, you may wanna look into what it's doing a little bit more than I am right now, but you can see it is actually getting it correct here. So that's one way to use these uh, Astro docs. Now there may be other things you want to do that maybe aren't as readily available within the docs. So if I come over here and I look at like, I don't know, Supabase, let's say you want to do something with Supabase, there's some fairly hefty documentation in here, but it's obviously not everything you can do in Supabase. So you may want to have like a backend that's a lot of Supabase functions or something. So if you were to do that, you may want to train it, especially on Supabase. So let me jump over here to the Supabase docs. I'm simply going to grab this link and we'll use this to actually train my version of cursor here on these docs. This is not one of these documentations that's built in automatically. I'll come back to docs uh, and then I can just do add new doc like this. Or I think you can also do new uh, doc. Yeah, there we go. Or there's command shift P add new custom docs. So any of those will work. They're all going to simply open up this field right here where you can enter in some kind of URL. Now, what I found is that for most documentation, you can just provide the base URL and it will basically scrape everything else there and then add it to your cursor settings. So here you can see I've already added Resend. This is the company I work for. And now what it's doing is it's adding Supabase's docs. And if I were to click on here, you'll see all the ones that it's already been adding and it will continue to add those as it indexes them. Now, again, there may be additional things I want to train it on. So if I come back over here, let's say we want to add Astro Icon. So I'll come in here to get started. This is one of those that if I add this base one for whatever reason, it is not actually like training on all the docs. I'm not sure why that is. So maybe let's come inside here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. We'll go to customizing icons. I'm going to grab this and then let's just add a new doc. So I'll add a new doc like this and we'll call this Astro uh, Icon and then I'll confirm. So it's going to hopefully index that as well. That shouldn't take nearly as long as the super base docs. And then finally, uh, Let's say you're using Terso. There's not a ton of documentation inside of Astro for Terso because usually you're just using it to like have this external data source, right? This is kind of what's in some places replaced Astro Studio, um, but it was what Astro Studio was built on. So I'll come over here. We're going to simply add the Terso docs and I'll say Terso. So it will hopefully index all that. Let's make this bigger here again and I'll come over here and let's just see what it's done. So it looks like this is still indexing. This one is also still indexing and they're probably all waiting on super based index. So what you can do is add these and then use them in any project. Now that it's part of my instance of cursor, I can use this and I can simply reference it wherever I want to. So I could say super base like this and notice I've got my documentation there. And you can actually come in here and ask specific questions about super base and connect to Terso somehow. All right, it probably wouldn't work, but and add Astro icon, you get the idea like that. You can actually interact with all of these, not just in chat, but you can also do it within individual files. So if I were to come over here and now use the command K menu here, this would be to do a quick edit. Then I could also reference it the same kind of way. I could come into docs and then reference whatever I want. In this case, you can see recent or super base. So I could say like uh, add email. And notice I've actually got all these individual items uh, in integrated into my version of cursor. So the individual documentation. I have no idea what this is going to do, but it looks like it created a form. So why not? So let's say accept. Obviously, we have to have some kind of back end, and it is yet to do that. But now 
Looks like I can submit this form, maybe. Let's just keep going. What is it going to do? Okay, so not as useful here, but you can see that if I were to ask it, for instance, to like uh, create a APA route at SRC pages API send to send this email, then hopefully it should be able to read that documentation and kind of figure out what to do. Now, let's see, because I didn't reference resend, it may actually need a little bit of help, but let's see. So let's accept this one. Again, we're just kind of vibe coding right now. And here you see it doesn't know what I want to use. So again, I'll hit docs and then resend and we'll see what happens. And look at that, it tells me to install this. So I'll command enter. And now hopefully if I jump back over to this next file, you'll see, yeah, it's actually using resend. Let's go back to the cursor settings real briefly. And I want to check one more time against the indexing and docs. Here, if I come over here, Superbase is still going strong. 310 pages have been indexed so far, but you can see with a larger documentation base like this, it should take a while for this to happen. But once this is done, I think it should uh, work. Looks like we've got one page index for Astro Icons. I'm not sure what's going on there. And Terso is still in the process of indexing as well. I'm guessing kind of backed up behind Superbase. Well, I'm certainly not a huge vibe coder, but I have found a lot of use cases for Astro Stocks built right into Cursor. I hope this was a help. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding.